Welcome everybody, Joe to Joe Wentz Project TV channel right here on YouTube, which you're watching right now in this premiere. Thank you for being here. If you're in the chat right now, thank you so much. I can't really respond to you right now because I am most likely on the road driving. <laughs> so just bear with me if I don't say a whole lot in the chat. But thank you for being here very much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, yes, you saw the title correctly. My uh, Fender Telecaster. Here it is right here. This is a 2012. It is a Road Worn series. Uh, 50s style is what it is. Uh, you can't really see that too good, can you? I put a shadow on it. Sorry. Um, wonderful guitar. The story behind this one was uh, I originally went to uh, order an EVH Stripe series when they were first uh, becoming available on American Musical Supply. And uh, they were back ordered uh, <laughs> for quite some time. Uh, they would tell you one date, and then that date would get here, and they would push it back again and then again. So I said, you know what, man? I said, uh, I'm just going to get a tele. I've always loved Telecasters, always. So I saw this one, and it was uh, for the same money. It was $1,000 as the EVH Stripe. Um and I love it. It feels fantastic. It's great, man. I've always wanted... Uh, it's uh, kind of a, a blonde color, but in a way it's kind of a... I don't know, in between a blonde and a yellow, I guess. I'm not sure what the correct name is for the color. Please forgive me on that information. Made in Mexico. Uh, and like I said, 2012. Uh, beautiful guitar. And it sounds amazing. <laughs> Great, great fun here with the tellies. I, my main guitar when I was in one of the one of the bands I was in was a telly. It was in between the uh, PV Wolfgang special and a Fender Telecaster that's over there buried uh, with other guitars. I cannot get to it right now. <laughs> there is no way. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's play a song. Let's do this. Give this the play. And also, uh, we're going to do an unboxing, like you saw in the title. I have a package delivered uh, to me that came today from R2, R3 Locking Nut. I have no idea what it is. We're going to find out together with that. So stay tuned right after this. Let's play a song, and then we'll do the unboxing. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for being here.
All right, man. Hope you enjoyed that. The Rolling Stones, Honky Tonk Women. Man, that is a fun song. That was always a crowd favorite. <laughs> Back in the band days, man. I always say the band days. It was, man, I miss those days. I actually, I actually uh, saw my buddy that was in that band. He was the lead singer and the acoustic guitar player. I was heading to work. Um, and I had to go to this small town and I stopped in this little store called Dollar General. There are these real small stores that are always placed out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, usually sometimes far away enough from Walmart and sometimes they'll be really close. It's just, it's just weird how they place them in the different locations. But this store is uh, going through the country out in the middle of nowhere. I had to uh, get some radiator fluid, some antifreeze. And uh, I pulled in there. I walked inside, and I went and got my antifreeze. I was coming back up toward the counter, and I saw him and his wife walk in, and I said, man. And uh, <laughs> he's got, like, this long white beard. It looks like one of the uh, Duck Dynasty people or something. And I was like, man, what is that? <laughs> you know, he used to always have a mustache and be clean shaven, and but it's been years, man. It was good to see him. We sat there and talked for a few minutes, and. He's a great person, man. His name's Walter. He's a great person. It was really good to see him. And uh, uh, he is what I call the three-chord master. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's the three-chord master. He sh uh, showed me, rather, <laughs> a lot of different songs that it can be done with just three chords. You know, uh, he would, you know, it, they, the original wouldn't be like that, but... Uh, he would always find a way to, to make it work and it worked, man. And I was like, that is incredible. <laughs> He'd be doing Creed songs and stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on. He'd be doing Creed songs and uh, Steve Miller and all that. And it was just, it would work. You know, that's the beauty of guitar. You know, you can manipulate stuff sometimes and it's still, it's still okay. All right, man. We got our handy dandy uh, knife here. Here is the package from my friend R2, the virtuoso from Chicago. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea what this is, man. So we're going to we're going to see right here, right here, right now, on this premiere. Man, he's got it boxed up nice, nice and secure. I'd say. All right, man. <clears throat> Thank you, R2. You didn't have to send me nothing, man. That's it was very nice, man. I believe he said he was wanting to send this around Christmas, and uh, he didn't have a chance. What in the world? Oh, look at this. What? What? Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? What is this? This is incredible. Is this like a little... Oh, man, look at this. It's Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Can you see that? Probably not. What is, what is on the inside? I hear some stuff on the inside. That is so cool. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and uh, R2 is as well. I hope I'm opening up, this up correctly. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. R2, what in the world? Look at this. I got some Van Halen picks and a little tin there. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the Millennium Falcon. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, man? This is this is incredible, R2. What uh, what in the world, man? That is so cool, man. Oh, a Led Zeppelin. What is a stick? That is so What? What? <laughs> Look at this, man. I know it's hard to see with the the way I got the lights in here. That is like a mirror sticker of Led Zeppelin. That is phenomenal. Look at this, man. Oh, my God. Jimi Hendrix, one of my favorite guitar players of all time, live at Woodstock. Man. That is just incredible. The two DVD set. Thank you, R2, so much, man. That is incredible. Oh, man. And I, I used to have this. I don't know if I still... I haven't seen it in forever. It might have got lost years ago. Man, I cannot wait to watch that. R2, thank you so much, man. You are way too kind. Wait a minute. There's something else in here. 
What the? Just set that right there. What is? What else is in here? What is this? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is a joke. He sent me a Sky Surfer Reaver pedal. R two man. Is that what's in here, or is it something else? Let me let me open it up first and see. yeah. Oh my god. Holy crap. Are you kidding me, man? Oh my god, look at that. R2, man. Uh, <laughs> that is incredible. I cannot I I don't know what to say, man. I I cannot wait to hook this up to my pedal chain. TC Electronics Sky uh, Surfer. I can't even talk. Sky Surfer Reverb. Look at this. I'm knocking shit over. Pardon my language. TC Electronics Sky Surfer Reverb Pedal True Bypass. Unbelievable, man. This is incredible. TC Electronics is amazing uh, company. I have, uh, uh, what is it? I think I got, well, I got one of their pedals over there. Let's see. Uh, yeah. The Dispatch Master. I think that's by TC Electronics, and it is incredible, man. I think that's who it's by. I believe so. Don't quote me on it. I can't really see it from here. I want to say it is, but, uh, man, I've always loved a good reverb. <laughs> and uh, I can't believe this, man. R2, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for these wonderful gifts. I, I, can't, I can't believe this, man. An incredible pedal. Star Wars memorabilia, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen picks. I mean, this is just R2, man. Holy smokes, dude. This is incredible. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to try this out. Thank you very much. We're going to get this hooked up on the next go around and give it a go and let you hear what it sounds like. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. And, uh, Man, this thing is really, really well constructed, metal casing, and uh, oh man, that is wonderful. Thank you, R2. Thank you, everybody who tuned in. And uh, wow, this is this is incredible. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. God bless R2. Thank you again, man, so much. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that's in the chat right now and the uh, the live chat. Again, I'm driving down the road, so I can't really respond. Uh, but thank you for being here. I really much appreciate it. And uh, tune in tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. We've been going for a few days straight here on showing these guitars. So tune in tomorrow to see which guitar we showcase next on the Joe Wentz Project TV channel here on YouTube. Thank you again, everybody. R2R3 Locking Up. Thank you. Subscribe to his channel. He's an amazing guitar player. Check out his uh, Shred or Not to Shred challenge entry for EJ's Guitars and Dave Byron and everybody that entered that. I went through the uh, playlist the other night, and I was like, holy crap. And EJ's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> There's a lot of great players on there, man. It's incredible. But uh, thank you all again. I got to go. I got to get all this edited and put together, and then I got to jet out of here. Thank you again. God bless. Be kind to each other. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.